Hey, welcome to Elk Mountain Modding, I'm CJ. I've had a lot of requests on how I model and texture a building in Blender and export it to Giants Editor. So I'm gonna give you the basics, grab yourself a cup of coffee, let's get modding. Now that we're in Blender, I'm using Blender 2.82. I'm going to start up my general file here, which uh, my startup is saved with nothing in it. Uh, we're going to shift A, we're going to add in a cube. Make sure your movement manipulator is enabled. And then we are going to bring that up a little bit, tab in edit mode, hit 3 uh, for face select. Also make sure your movement manipulator is enabled in edit mode. There are many different ways to model a building in Blender. Uh, you can use ArcMesh, ArcPack, of course use a uh, measurement tool, you can use blueprints and reference photos, which I do all of that. Uh, but a lot of times for Farming Simulator, I actually go just by the look and feel of it uh, because I feel like the in-game camera is a little bit low. Uh, so a lot of times I just go by feel. But model it however you want. Um, and I'm gonna speed this up, uh, but feel free to slow it down, uh, pause it, um, or maybe I'll do a just a specific modeling tutorial later. Now we can start to unwrap. So we're gonna hit tab again, we're gonna hit A for all. U, smart UV project. Bring up our bottom tab here. We're gonna to go to the shader editor, we're gonna add new. Shift A, we're gonna input a texture, image texture. Um, connect your color to base color. Um, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up. Um, I. Uh, I'm just going to use the ranch house uh, diffuse and the ranch house siding diffuse textures that I already have built. So first thing we're going to do is grab the siding. Make sure that you are in the um, material preview, um, not render, but um, so that you can have a so we, we can uh, have a preview of what this looks like. Um, so as you can see, it's on here. It just it's kind of funky. So we're just going to grab these faces along here. Then we're going to go over here and make sure that we're on the UV editor. We're going to open up our panel here. Of course, make sure our movement manipulator is selected. We're going to check the um, sync and then make sure we're on the face selection. So now that we have all those um, separate, we're just going to we're just going to line them up here so that they sit on top of each other. Bring this over here, rotate 90, so R90. Scale it up. I think I might scale it on the Y a little bit, so that's Y. I'm gonna grab these. Do the same thing, R90. And then we're gonna scale it up until we think it looks to be about the same is the other side. Looks pretty good right there. So there's our walls mapped. Uh, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab all of these faces for the posts. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click and we're gonna separate by selection. Then we're gonna tab out of edit mode. So then we have the posts and the walls separate. Grab the post, tab back into um, edit mode, hit A to select all, then we're going to go back into the um, shader editor and we are going to hit X so then it eliminates that texture from it. We're going to shift A, I'm sorry, hit new. Um, what, what it does help to do here real quick, let's see here, I'm going to select the walls and we're going to name that walls. And then this, we're going to select, and we're gonna call um, house. And then we're gonna shift A, we're gonna add a image texture. Open up our textures here, and we're gonna add the house diffuse. Now with that, we can go back into the UV editor, make sure that our house diffuse is selected. And we're gonna tab in edit mode, bring those over here and then we're gonna just um, we're gonna bring them on top of each other so that they're all in the same plane R90 
the 90. Um, if you box select or hit C for circle select, you'll grab all the faces that are on top of each other. Bring them down to the post material. S, X, scales it on the X. There you go. There is our posts mapped. So then we're gonna, with the post selected, shift select the house, hit contr uh, control J, and it joins the house back together. So then it's all one with two different materials. Go to the roof, control A, rotation and scale. Then we're gonna tab in edit mode, press A, U, smart UE project. Go over to the shader editor. From the drop down, now we can add the house material. Then we can go back into the UV editor, grab these two top uh, pieces of the metal, hit R90, and then I'm pretty sure, um, this one needs to be rotated 180. And so it's just a matter of um, um, lining up and scaling your um, textures and putting them on the texture map the way you want and the way they look good. Pretty simple. See, select both of those again, come over here, we're going to scale it up so it kind of fits in that area. And there you go, there is the roof mapped. Grab the fascia. Same thing. We're just gonna <clears throat> we're just gonna grab them and get them to be on the same plate. So we're just gonna rotate it. C to select both, R to rotate, and then we're just gonna rotate until we get to 90. Select both of those. Then we're gonna R 90. Come down to here and scale it. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to grab these two and I'm going to bring them on top of each other. I'm going to scale those a little more on the Y and the X. And we're just going to fit them in there. So S, Y. There you go, all mapped, ready to go. One last thing, Control R, whoops, tab in edit mode, Control R, and then we are going to, with face select three, we're gonna grab these faces. Again, just stacking them on top of each other. X for scaling on the X axis and there you go there's our building all textured and mapped then what we can do select shade smooth go to the modifiers tab hit edge split and then apply same with up here we're gonna shade smooth hit the edge split and then apply first thing I'm gonna do is hit F2 and I'm gonna rename this the roof and I'm gonna hit F2 and rename this walls. Now, just save that project, make sure you save it. So we're gonna save as, then we're gonna export. So export as a Giants i3D. Just name it what you want the i3D file to be named, and then export. As long as you have it saved, and you have uh, materials applied to every object, you shouldn't get any errors. So then we can open up the, uh, the file containing the i3D, and containing a file with the textures. So we're gonna right click on the i3D, we're gonna open it up in Notepad++. And the texture path is always wrong when you're exporting from Blender into Giants Editor. So we're going to eliminate the first part of this texture path. Because all it needs to say that it's in textures, the file textures, and then into the house. We're gonna save that, we're gonna exit. 
Now we can open up in Giants Editor. Now that we're in Giants Editor, first thing we're going to do, you can hit the plus and minus on your keypad to change your navigation speed. We're going to create a light. And we're going to grab the roof. First thing is your metalness is uh, to zero and your smoothness to zero. Your smoothness and your metalness. Basically, if you have a gloss map, you can apply it there and your uh, normal map. But for this, we're just gonna start with this and tell it that there is no smoothness and no metalness. Then we're gonna uh, select rigid body. We're gonna take our clip distance down to something like 3000. Then we're gonna hit the shapes uh, tab. We're gonna do cast shadow map and receive shadow map. Um, and then we're gonna grab the walls. So we're on the walls texture, same thing. Smoothness, zero, metalness, zero rigid body, then we're going to take the clip distance down to 3000, and then we're going to make sure receive uh, cast shadows and receive, receive shadows is on. So um, as you can see, that's the basics, and there is the building. Uh, the only thing we need to do now is save it as a binary file. So you're going to come up here and then save as. Um, so if we're in our folder, and here is our i3d, we're just going to click on the i3d, and from the drop down, make sure binary file is selected, and then save. So there you have it, that's the basics. Um, this is my first tutorial, so if you found it helpful, make sure you let me know in the comments, and make sure you go check out my Facebook page, Elk Mountain Modding, and um, just to keep up to date with all my current projects. And also join the Facebook group, Elk Mountain Nation. Thanks, and catch you next time.